Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Pepe, your daily update. I um, wanted to do a daily update because in general, I, I have to be honest about this, um, but I was wrong, all right? Because yesterday I was I was quite bearish on, on Pepe, um, but we actually turned out to, to hold our levels relatively well. And yesterday was a very bearish day, as, as most of you know. Um, Bitcoin was was continuously bearish until basically yesterday evening when we got a little bit of a bounce. Um, but what you saw, and, and that's the great thing, is that even though Bitcoin was, was bearish, the Bitcoin dominance dropped down a ton as well over the course of the day. So if Bitcoin is dropping down and the Bitcoin dominance is also dropping down, that means usually that altcoins are holding on fairly well. And then Pepe is also... Uh, the strongest meme coin. Meme coins have been historically very strong this year. So I, I should have maybe known that, that we wouldn't be as bearish as I as I thought. I still think that we are relatively bearish here. I mean, if you technically look at the market structure, you can see the, you can see the EMAs are relatively flat. So that's why I'm telling you I'm, I, I was wrong because I do think that the market structure right now looks a little bit more like a, like a consolidation instead of a downtrend, which is what I expected. Um, but we could still like like there's a slight bearish bias in this consolidation. Like we could certainly still drop down lower towards 9,500 and 9,000. And unless Bitcoin puts in some sort of a higher low, or unless Bitcoin gets some sort of a bullish reclaim, I also think that that still is is the most likely direction. I just think that overall the Pepe will be stronger than I than I expected, especially with this Bitcoin dominance. Right, because if you also compare it to to other meme coins right here, uh, like like WIF, um, uh, Dogecoin, Bonk, Floki, Pepe is still holding on fine. All right, so at some point of time, and and I do still think that's a possibility as well. At some point of time, when Bitcoin actually does put in some sort of a some sort of a bullish breakout, I do think that Pepe can rally. But at this moment, even though I, I don't think we are as bearish as I thought, I also don't think we're we're bullish. All right, because if we if, if we look at some um, some order flow numbers for Pepe, uh, what you will see is the following, <laughs> and that is that we are gaining some momentum right here, but it's quite mixed momentum. All right, you can see that that initially uh, overnight we, we gained quite a few long positions, which was great, but then afterwards, or at least at some point of time, we also saw quite a quite a few short positions being opened here. Um, so so this momentum, even though it looks good. It doesn't necessarily mean that much yet. So we'll have to wait for, for, for what that momentum does. And honestly, even though Pepe right now is relatively strong against Bitcoin, I still think that the general direction depends on Bitcoin. And since Bitcoin so far in the last couple of weeks has only put in uh, bearish breakouts, um, I think it's most likely to assume that Pepe will still, albeit a little bit less uh, less weak, but that it will still slowly start to drop down into 9,500 and 9,000. Now, the one thing to watch, and that's also the, the one major exception, is if Bitcoin does put in some sort of a bullish breakout. All right, if Bitcoin breaks above 62,000 today, then Pepe can actually rally, and I expect it to rally. It's just that, you know, like if I, if, if, if I have to tell you Bitcoin is going to be bullish, or Bitcoin is going to be bearish, because that, that matters for what Pepe does, um, today and tomorrow and this week, then if you see such a chart, I will not tell you that it's most likely we're going to get that bullish breakout. It's a possibility and you should know it. All right. So that's why I'm telling you it. And that's also why, why I'm telling you what, what, what I expect from Pepe if it does happen and you need to keep your eyes on it. But it's most likely that we'll do something like this. So those are my thoughts, right? That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and bye.